Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back and welcome to the channel as usual. I know that it's been a couple days since I had last uploaded and also I've been a little MIA with streaming until yesterday. Not to mention my hair, but yeah. <laughs> so I had to do with some unrealized life stuff and that basically is why I couldn't do much. But today I got some banger for you to talk to you about how you can actually get caught up in the game whether you are a new player that haven't played at all still and want to start playing today or if you're even playing but struggling a little bit with your combat power now do keep in mind that this video is going to strictly be applicable to staff daggers and staff bow users maybe crossbow daggers can work as well but overall the sentiment or what i'm going to what i'm going to explain you can still implement in other roles just in different uh rotations or places depending on your role i'm going to get into all the details but before we get into today's video a word from today's sponsor so every time someone tells me that they're having issues accessing the game or servers are having issues or they're having any kind of lag in any title that they play my immediate response is try with exit lag i've been using exit lag for a while myself and it has been phenomenal exit lag is just simply the best solution for all the online gamers as it also utilizes the power of ai routing and optimization as well what this essentially means is that it takes the best route for you whether you live in the same region of the game or not because it just avoids congested routes uh especially in prime time or if the game is very popular especially big launches and that helps you avoid those congested routes and get the best ping and the best input latency possible so i highly recommend you give it a try yourself and see if it works for your needs creating an account is very simple you just hop on the website or even download the software and simply create an account uh, verify it through your email address and that's it you just search up the name of the game that you would like to play and connect it to the route depending on the region that the game is going to be available in whether you're going to be playing on eu or na and simply plug and play they also offer plans to suit your needs even if you're a group of friends or family whether you want to go solo do or squad all of those are available and you can explore all those links down in my description and with that out of the way let's get into today's video so you are new to the game or you've been playing the game and you have been having issues pumping your combat power as i mentioned this is going to be the route that i'll be taking with staff dagger or staff bow or maybe even crossbow dagger but do keep in mind that you can also apply the same sentiment on other roles as well so if you look at this character this character has been one day old this character has hit level 50 in one day which you could do as well using the guide that i will leave down in the description for you which was made by saiga shout out to saiga and that will get you leveled up within three to five hours depending on your speed i've done it in like four ish hours which was pretty good then i finished hitting level 50 and that's where your grind starts just be aware that when you're leveling or if you have already leveled up you need to be sure that you have crafted all of your greens leveled up all your greens to plus six to make life easier uh, upgraded your skills all the kind of stuff and make sure you have your dexterity as your priority if you're pve and you don't need this much strength for example make sure to pump your dexterity to 40 and then the rest goes into perception up to 30 and then after that everything else goes to wisdom for the mana and the cooldown speed as well so i have 40 dexterity 29 wisdom and 30 perception as of right now initially you're not gonna have that high you'll just have like maybe 40 dexterity and 20 ish perception something like that but overall just be sure to craft all of your stuff to give you dexterity as much as you possibly can and also upgrade your skills as that will help with what we're about to do as well now the second thing you would notice i have these three pieces here and these three pieces are the pieces that you need to keep an eye out on keep in mind you might at first glance think well he's swiping but no this is actually fully free to play i've gotten this helmet here almost fully traded i've gotten these pants here almost fully traded and i've gotten these boots as well here almost fully traded and as you can tell i even got unlucky with a few of them here and there that i just cannot make use of because they are not the trade that i want of course if they are the trade that you want you're going to make use of them but that is another topic so essentially what you're going to be doing is after you have hit level 50 i've done your contracts i've done everything you're going to come to ants nest over here which is right above like moonlight desert so that is where your grinding is going to begin and if you look at ants nest here you would notice that these boots drop from the charging ant you have these uh pants dropping from the acid ant and then you have um the worker ant for the hex weaver hat as well 
So these are the three pieces you are here for. And these are the three pieces that you're going to be grinding for. It's simply as simple as going into the dungeon and uh, killing the mobs in here. The good thing about this rotation is that obviously there aren't many people in these places anymore because they're busy grinding other places. And I know that some people might think, well, isn't that a waste for my Abyssal Contract tokens? Not really, because realistically, yeah, sure, you need to do the other dungeons as well uh, later down the line. But as of right now, at this stage of the game, you're not strong enough for it anyway, unless you have a party. And even if you do have a party, if you're not really getting the gains that you need, then it's not really that worth it. It's not worth gambling your abyssals to try to get that lucky item that will make you a lot of loosen to make you buy these items or the trace for these items. So it's better to just get something that is more, um, let's say, accessible. And also it's really easy to kill these mobs like in one go. Uh, and get all the drops that you need it's as simple as just killing the mobs in here and eventually dropping the item that you need and that's about it obviously uh, it will take a bit of a grind like it took me quite a few points uh, on day one but in one day i already managed achieving like pretty good results and they do give you like a lot of drops and you will be getting a lot of those trades and items as well now for a staff specifically, I recommend that you take for skill specialization, you take the AOE stuff. So I would say like try to copy this if possible. And the reason for this is you get like two judgment lightning because of using this one. One of them sure is uh, castable, which means you need to stand still for a few seconds. But at the same time, the second one is immediate. And at the same time here as well, this makes it so that you transfer the thunder effect and don't lose damage on the mitigate because there is normally mitigation. If you transfer the thunder from one mob to another, usually that happens when it's raining or something. But now you can make it happen and uh, get rid of the mitigation as well of that damage so that you can have an easy time so this will essentially help you with your aoe grind so you will be able to like take down multiple mobs at a time so for example let's say i want to pull this whole room over here i'll be able to pull all of this room that is like your rotation mostly you pull this whole room and then the other room afterwards over there so i can pick all of these and then simply spam my fireballs as you can see they're just like dropping like well ants and that's it you're just like getting them all in one go and in the process of doing so as you can see you're getting like a lot of loot including some greens as well so those greens if, you, if they have a trait that you want to use on your blue you can still keep them because you can use them still for the traits of your item once you get the trait that you want let's say in this case you, i dropped this magic evasion you can simply put it in here to level up the trait and if you want to unlock a trait all it takes is you simply to have the item dropped with the trait that you still have locked and then feed it into the lock trait to unlock it for yourself that's pretty much like the quick tldr of how this rotation works you simply go into ants nest grind this place here grind here and over there as well and also you can run around if you want if it's super free like this this room is also pretty good so you can rotate between this place this place and this place which is around here so yeah this is like the quick tldr obviously for other roles uh, that don't make use of these items you can simply look at the other dungeons and see what they drop for example Silas Abyss. Uh, or whatever it may be check what they drop see what where you can get it try to find a place that is easy to grind like this do not do normal open world grind only do open world dungeon grind and of course your instance dungeons the level 50s and with this you will be able to get a lot of traits and items pretty early on and that will put you ahead pretty easily you can easily even hit 2k in one day and then after that, you can start hopping into the PvP with your guild if you join one, or hop into the higher level dungeons with other parties and friends or whatever it may be to get better loot. And then slowly but surely, you will be hitting the 2.5k, possibly even in two to three days. Uh, and with a little bit of swiping, if you're the kind of person that plans to swipe, you could actually get up to 3k pretty easily as well. So yeah, this is like the quick TLDR. I hope this helps anybody that has been planning to play the game but held it off because they thought they would be super behind or if you are struggling with what to do i hope that kind of gives you the idea of how to plan your gearing thank you so much for watching if you made it this far as usual don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content and until the next one peace